Oh, hey there, everybody out there in YouTube land. Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. There's a Dodge Intrepid that just went by. Excuse me, Chrysler Intrepid. See, that old Chrysler Intrepid you just saw there, that big navy blue sedan in the States is called the Dodge Intrepid, but here it's a Chrysler. It's actually funny now that I think of it. You know, Chrysler actually has probably done it better in sales as many segments compared to General Motors in the last 10 years, and you still see a lot of minivans and chargers and stuff. And, and it's funny how people will still buy stylish cars or cars that look different, uh, you know, comparatively to good vehicles. See, there's a Jeep there. And by the way, those who are your younger, Jeep was not always owned by Chrysler. Jeep used to be a separate make. They used to be made by America Motors Corporation prior to 1987. Oh, there's a train leaving there, Via. Yeah, there's some uh, vintage LRC cars conceived in the 80s. Train heading west to Ontario, Toronto, Oshawa, Cornwall, and so forth. So here I am at the, in the Dorval sector of Montreal, at Dorval Circle, which is uh, supposed to be uh, supposed to be redone because it is a circle and like a lot of roads that are circles that link it other roads are kind of dangerous you know um, matter of fact there's been quite a few accidents here and um, even a couple of years ago right over there where that bus is about to go right yeah right where that bus is right there I filmed an accident there a fucking car flipped over onto its roof that's not the first time that's happened here so they're supposed to tear all this down and this is typical of old ass fucking Quebec infrastructure just crumbling and looks like it's falling apart and they have to put this retainer here so that chunks of concrete don't fall onto cars and so forth. Yeah, that's the, that's the way it is here in Quebec, you know, the fucking government has for decades has always been, you know, cheapening out on asphalt and concrete and it doesn't last long, unfortunately, the uh, harsh climate compared to the harsh winters and very hot summers we have don't help to make that shit last a long time sadly yeah and i wish it was a nicer day to be doing this for you guys but uh hey it's better than nothing and uh yesterday i didn't even go out to go film anything because it's just like today it's just dull and raining and snowing and fucking audi drivers have a bad reputation man so can i actually cross here or what well let's fucking do it Got some trucking around here. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah. Anyway, so moving along here, moving along. But yeah, like I see this whole thing as a circle. It's just, it's just a very old school type of uh, urban planning. I like how they have the Via Station sign along with the highway signs there. Nice touch. The airport, by the way, I can't believe I didn't mention the airport. It's just. It's just over um, the train station and so forth, Cardinal Avenue. You know, boring cars and of course, you know, scrap, which is even worse than the fucking boring car. Scrap, I just took one over here and to make things worse, on a fucking detour. It was a 31,000, which means a 31,000 series is a 2011, but it was one of the earliest ones. So that means it was fucking garbage. Uh, it's like riding in a container on wheels and we're on a fucking detour for crying out loud. It was even worse. God damn, St. Patrick Street all the way. Oh, anyway, whatever. I'm going to stifle myself, so, as uh, Archie Bunker would say. I saw a nice looking charger before, though. It was clean. It had a nice fucking mags on it. It was a clean looking mean machine, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you want to see my nice haircut? Look at that, eh? Yeah, look at shot, baby. Woohoo! Boring cars. Fuck. No offense to any of you who drive those cars, but I'm sure I've offended you, but hey, whatever, it's uh what can I say? It's a, uh, you know, take what you can get kind of world today. We're far, far away from the, uh, the old days where people would like literally order their cars and, you know, a month later or what have you, they would get that car and a lot of times they were just different from other cars because you were literally practically custom making your car. You know, you had like a fucking choice of three, three mag wheels or two mag wheels, five different hubcaps. 25 uh, fucking colors to select from, you know. Stack it up! Okay, oh, let's run those. And you got your Dorval shopping center over here. There used to be a La Belle Province over here and they were fucking, they closed. 
thankfully because they got actually a uh, uh, heavy heavy fine for just unsanitary conditions oh look at this that's an ex-police isn't it yeah rusted out ex-police unit for those of you ex-police car fans yeah you got the dual exhaust on there the little caps yeah still notable still interesting to me though even though not, not exactly oh, where are you going not exactly good cars or great cars I should say well you could do worse you know Trabant the Yugo Skoda Lada uh, many Audis of the past there's a badass Ram that's a very old shopping center and that's that maxi supermarket there that used to be a uh, uh, Steinberg's I saw a police a uh, picture of a 57 Chevy two-door a police car, Dorval, uh, city of Dorval, a police car back then, before they, way before they were merged with the city of Montreal. And this, I don't know what it was, I think it might have been a supermarket, but look at that. That sign, the structure there, you know that's really old. I don't like that. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me what it was, George, or one of you guys, I don't know, one of you guys that lived here in the West Island back in the day. Some people say this is part of the West Island, it is, some people would say it isn't. Lachine definitely is not, you know. I'm going to go off one of these streets there, not on the next block. I'm not going to film the whole street. Uh, not this street, but the next street, I think. God, is it the next street or the one after? Fuck, I can't remember if it's this street or the next street. There's a clinic. I keep meaning to go check because medical clinics usually have elevators. So there's a lot of you guys like my videos. Look at this place. This place is like a fucking uh, a time warp when you go into this place. It's like totally the tiki wood design inside and everything. It's actually amazing if it's still in business. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Old ass building, 60s, 50s design. Yeah, but the food here, just like the Silver Dragon was, just very plain, nothing special. You know, ça bouche un trou, as we say. Plaza Dorval. Furnished apartments is what it says. Look at this place for rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of Montreal's many, many old areas. Got your dental clinic here. One of many part. One of one of many actually uh, towns or boroughs, if you wish, of the city where that has that small town look. You know, like it was because back in the day it was like that. All these different separate towns that had their main drag, like here. And you know, you got the barber shop, you got the pharmacy, you got the gas station garage, you got the bank, you got the city hall, you got the clinic, blah blah blah. You know. Oh, I smell that Chinese food. It smells good though. Always that familiar smell. You know? Yeah. Oh, look at this Porsche. Eh? Black beauty. Where is it? Midnight blue. Hey, whatever. Oh yeah, you know what? Shit, I almost feel like walking all the way down with this because I just remembered that there's a there's an old Chevy tow truck down here. I keep meaning to film. You know, let's see how we are on time here. Ah, oh, damn it the hell. I thought I was recording. Fuck, I was just talking about that on the phone with Ben. One of the things that sucks with digital cameras, these modern ones, you hit record and you think it's recording and it only records for a second and it stops and then you don't really fucking notice it because it's kind of bright out here, you know, and it's not like I'm filming at night and I see the, 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 the red record button anyway i was saying fucking son of a bitch i was uh shit if you didn't get all that plus the very restaurant that green building on the right i was there for the longest time that's gone it's out of business closed and the original one is on Gwent boulevard in the uh share phone with saint Geneviève. i'm not even sure actually if that's in business anymore either Let's zoom in on this here yeah closed out of business Kind of a shame. It was good, great pizza. Yeah, Italian owned. Then you got this place here. It used to be a movie theater. And I was just saying there was a couple of few times that me and my scout crew back in the 80s, we used to come here and see movies. And I remember one time we drove up here from Roxborough where I lived and where our scout troop was based. And we came with my uh, scout leader, my friend Ralph Thurston. We had a 65 vehicle Sabre and we came up here and then little did I know at that time that I would end up buying that fucking car later on in 99 or so. And uh, oddly enough the car uh, it was uh, brought to a garage that I passed up here on the corner of uh, Dorval Avenue and it was there to be mechanically inspected before I bought it. Yeah. 
And uh, frankly, if I had been born with normal sight, that's, that car, I'm sure I would have held on to it. There's no way I would have sold it. I would have slowly had restored it. But at least I sold it to a nice chap out of Brockville who, uh, who restored it, you know? Now, I was talking about this old uh, Chevy or GMC uh, tow truck that's over here somewhere. Uh, this garage, I think, called La de la Tow. I don't even know if it's here. It doesn't look like it's fucking here. No, it's usually on the corner there. Or is it the next garage? I think it is the next garage. But this guy, there's a... Uh, oh, no, it is right there, actually. It's right there. The friend of the car. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that uh, tow truck, that's about an 88, 89. And it's a bit of a gray area because in 88, GMC and Chevrolets, they were all restyled. And... Uh, but what's funny is that the Suburban version of this, which was basically like a station wagon, they didn't restyle it until 91. So I don't know how they were late with that. Look at that old sign. I never even noticed that. That's clever. Anyway, so moving it along here, and uh, that's about it, man. I'm not going to... I mean, over there, it gets dull. It's all, uh, you know, condos and apartment buildings. There's nothing really riveting there, frankly. And the end of the street, of course, over there takes you to... Uh, it takes you to the uh, the street, which is uh, Lakeshore, uh, called Lakeshore because that's the uh, Riviera de Prairie, the river is over there, you know, so. Anyway, that's it, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I wish it had been a nicer day to do this, but uh, I don't know, maybe one day I'll redo this uh, in the sun, you know what I mean? And that's it, so there you go, guys. Take care, bye-bye.